McCallum looks up. Curler, cracking goal! The last home game of 2017 saw the sports finish the year on the wrong end of a 4-1 scoreline. But with three points away to Whitehall on Boxing Day, Eastbourne were keen to get something out of the first match of 2018. And in the opening stages looked like they might. Here Gavin McCallum, playing back up front, goes close. But Whitehawk has something to prove, and James Harron takes no chances to stop this attack. Yemi Odebardi look odds on to break the deadlock, but may have had a bit too much time to think, allowing Sunny Day to save. And the resulting corner ends safely in the arms of the Whitehawk goalie. But the Borough were having the best of the first half. And this run and touchback by Yemi allowed Kane Wills to float over a perfectly flighty cross for Gavin McCallum to head Eastbourne in front on 19 minutes. With Whitehawk's recent record, many home fans thought it would be a busy afternoon now for Sunny Dane as the sports pressed to take advantage. But football is a funny old game, so they say, and this Whitehawk break ended in a corner. And the corner led to Gold Amateo rising above everyone to head Whitehawk level 10 minutes later. The sports tried to regain the initiative and this Yemi Odebardi cross found Kane Wills on his own, but his first touch lost him a great opportunity. Then Sean Okji threaded his way across the 18-yard line, but shot wide. Then shortly after, Okji made some space for himself, but his shot lacked power and the sides went in 1-1 at half-time. They say football is a game of two halves, and Whitehawk were about to prove the saying right. Although the sports must have fancied their chances after edging the first half, Whitehawk were looking a bit more adventurous. And on 54 minutes, they took the lead after Cajun Marsh Brown played a quick free kick to Simon Mensa, whose probing ball found its way to Gold on Mateo to stab the ball home from close range. Eastbourne tried to get themselves back into contention, but their efforts were either not incisive enough to get past Dang in a white walk goal, or on target, or luck was just not with them when they needed it. And when they were on target, like with Gavin McCallum's shot here, Sunny Dang was equal to it. And as the minutes ticked by, Yemi Odebardi again looked odds on to score, but his header went uncharacteristically wide. Of course, Burroughs efforts to get back into a contest they were losing grip off let Whitehawk have space to break, and a combination between Nissan de Gaulle and Captain David Ayar deserved more than a corner. Yet it was from that corner that Elliot Benyon found himself with space to volley home from close range on 82 minutes. But worse was to come two minutes later when Cajun Marsh Brown went on a pacey run down the left before cutting in and shooting past a despairing Mark Smith to take all the points and make it a thoroughly miserable start to 2018 for Eastbourne Borough.